Hey guys, today is my nephew's birthday and it's also Mother's Day, so we're gonna go out um, to get my nephew a birthday present and we're gonna go to like a little birthday party. <laughs> it's just gonna be like family, obviously, because you guys know the situation. Um, but yeah, so I thought I would do a like little get ready with me today. I don't wanna do anything too crazy, just something kind of nice and natural. Um, but yeah, I just thought, I feel like for a while, I lost my spark I was like I don't want to do YouTube well I wasn't like I don't want to but you know like every time it came to filming I was like no like I don't want to um you know it's too too much and I feel like today I just woke up and all of that was completely gone I was like oh how many YouTube videos can I film in a day like I want to film as many as possible like I want to be back you know and I feel like today my spark has kind of reignited which is so such a good feeling anyone who does any kind of creative thing i feel like can relate we've all gone through that stage where we're like never want to see makeup again never want to see you know art supplies again paintings drawings music you know um anyone who does anything creative today i'm going to be taking the Too faced natural nudes palette i'm so excited um i think i'm going to just start with warm rose which is this shade here um yeah so today i feel like i'm back and i'm so excited like it's been quite a while since i felt excited to to get on youtube and that makes me sad because i hate i feel guilty but the thing is it's just a um it's honestly just a the way of life i feel like it happens to everyone um, so I'm just putting this warm rose shade on first and just kind of putting it everywhere. Um, but yeah, I feel really excited. I feel motivated and, you know, ready to, to film again. So I'm just putting this everywhere. It's such a pretty shade. It's really, really nice. So my nephew turns four today. He has been waiting for this for so long. <laughs> um, he keeps kind of referring to, he, he'll say things and say, you know, I can do that when I'm four or I'll be this tall when I'm four. And he, it's funny, he thinks that like the taller you are, the older you are. <laughs> Cause like he'll stand on the table and he'll be like, I'm 10. <laughs> He's so cute, I love him. And I'm just so excited to see him. Um, he really is the light of my life, you know? And yeah, it's just nice to see him so excited and um, I don't know, yeah. I just feel like birthdays are such a magical time, especially when you're so young. And um, my parents used to go all out for my birthdays and they still do. Like, you know, I feel like birthdays have just always been such a special thing in our family because I know some people kind of, it's just another day, but to my family, they've always like gone above and beyond. And my sister does such a great job at um, doing these parties and stuff for him. Like he always gets spoiled. I'm gonna take Coconut, which is this one here. It's just a little bit darker. I'm just gonna run it through the crease and in the outer corner. Um, but yeah, my sister does such an amazing job um, at throwing all these parties for him and yeah. She goes all out. Like when we went Christmas shopping last year, <laughs> we had to leave Kmart like because we ended up there with like a you know a seven hundred dollar lay by, and we were like, <laughs> it's so hard though, like because everything you see, you're like, oh my god, oh he wants like I want to get him that, and yeah, I don't know. I just think my sister does an amazing job. She is an amazing mother and I feel like um, she'll probably never watch this video so she'll probably never know that I've even said this but um, I feel like I don't, I don't really tell her enough. I should tell her but she, <laughs> she's um, a bit of a, a weird one. No, nah, she's not. She just, she's not emotional. She's not a, an emotional <laughs> person so I feel like if I said that to her she'd be like, okay. <laughs> No, she would appreciate it, but she's just, you know, 
She's not like me, she's a bit more reserved and <laughs> if you tried to cuddle her she'd probably punch you in the face. <laughs> no, um, she, she does a really good job and I feel like I do need to tell her more, so. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to spend some time with him. Um, we are taking him out so that my sister can set up the party without him being there. Um, and also, you know, letting him choose a birthday present and stuff. I'm so excited. I just, I can't explain how much I love him. I'm actually filming a vlog today, which I'm so excited about. You guys probably know it's been like yonks since I filmed a vlog. Like, I think my last one was like my birthday or like moving or something. I don't know. It was last year sometime though. And it has been so, so long. Um, but yeah, today I was like, let's film a vlog. So the last thing I'm going to do is just put on a little bit of shimmer. Um, and I think I'm going to take, uh, I don't know, maybe, it's hard, what's this one? I might take this shade. This one here is called Sparkling Sand. So it's this one here. And these shimmers are so beautiful. I'm going to wet my brush though. Because I want it to be kind of like quite defined, if you know what I mean. And because obviously I'm not going to cut the crease. So I'll bring it along a fair bit. I feel like I should have gone for something a little bit lighter so it stood out a bit more, but anyway. It's done now. I hate my dad drinking. Hello! Hi. Hi. Um, do you know where your car keys are? Yeah, I think they're in my um bag, but my car's open. Sorry? They're in my handbag, but my car is unlocked if you needed to get something out of it. Yeah, I think I've left my keys in there. Oh, okay, yeah. Have you heard from George yet? No. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, he's dropping them over, but don't know when. Oh, okay. Alright, love you, bye. Love you, bye. Um, I might actually just take a bit of the glistening snow shade, which is this one here, and just kind of put that over the top. Just to kind of get it to stand out a bit more, I guess. So I'm just tapping that over it. And you can see the difference. It just kind of like brightens it up a little bit, which is what I want. Then I'll go back into the coca shade and just blend it into the edge. Just a little. Okay. Um, I'm going to do some liner today, but I'm going to do brown, if I can find it. This is the Benefit Roller Liner in brown. I'm just going to do a little wing. Just like that. Okay, cool. Um, I do want to do lashes as well. I'm going to do some like natural ones, but I'm going to do that at the end when I do my hair, just so we can save a little bit of time. Okay. Just taking a little bit of um, Benefit Their Real Mascara Primer. Oh, actually, I feel like I should do the lashes now. So I don't have to like muck around and touch my foundation heaps and stuff when I'm putting them on. I'm just going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Alright, I'll go put my lashes on. And then I'll be back. Okay, got my lashes on now. I just used the EXO Beauty ones in Soulmate. They're um, a lot more natural. But I think it just adds like the perfect amount of volume for every day. So, um, just before we start on foundation, I'm just going to quickly clean up the eyes. I'm just taking a cotton tip and some muscular water. Okay. So I'm going to take my Fenty um, foundation today, but first I'm going to prime with the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. Okay. 
Oh, this smells like divine, honestly. Fenty perfume, please. Actually, she probably has one, doesn't she? Which I know she's got the Rihanna perfumes. Like, um, I used to have a few of those. I think I had the black one and the like pinky beigey colored one, and I loved those. But I want one that smells like this. Oh, so good. Okay, um, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty con um, <laughs> concealer foundation in the hydrating one in 140. I feel like I'm gonna have to buy another one soon because this is almost empty. I'm just blending it down my neck a little bit. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't have much left in it. Like, I have used and abused this foundation. I love it so much though, it's so good. I just feel like Fenty is. I'm a Fenty stan, okay? Like, I don't know, I just think her products are so high quality. And I feel like she doesn't seem like the shady type. Like, I feel like she really cares about what she, um, what she releases, like, and whether or not, like, they're top quality products or not. Like, I feel like some people who've just started a makeup brand are just like, yeah. It's just another way to get money, but I feel like Fenty Beauty really is, um, she really cares about like what she's producing and why she's putting it out. And yeah, I just feel like she's all over, just great. I don't know much about Rihanna, honestly. Is she problematic? I don't know. Someone let me know below, please. I feel like I haven't heard anything about her being problematic, so. Um, she might be good. <laughs> so the worst thing about this foundation is it matches me, but it just oxidizes a tiny bit, and then it looks like it doesn't match me. So it's like for concealer today, I'm just gonna take my Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. I love this. This one is in the shade O2. Actually, I actually haven't used it for um a while. I was like using it every time that I did my makeup, so then I was like, gotta stop using that. But it's actually like just such a good concealer. Um, so earlier I mentioned that I'm doing a vlog, so um, that'll be up on my vlog channel, which is crazy to me. Like, that I'm gonna. That I've got like. I'm gonna upload on my other channel for the first time in like so long. But anyway, um, my vlog, vlog channel is always linked below, as well as my um, second Instagram, which is called Life of Sojo, which is where I put up obviously more like lifestyle posts and stuff. It's not something that I use too often, um, but it's just there, so I'm not limited to make like so that I can also post about things that aren't makeup. Um, this is the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder and I'm just using this to set under my eyes um so yeah I've got a few posts on that but I don't know if many people know about it like it's not something that I use too too often um I feel like I go through stages but I haven't been using it lately because obviously I haven't been going anywhere so there's been nothing to post about um but yeah it's there if you're interested and if you want to follow it. It's also linked on my Instagram. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I've just set that concealer. And then I think I'm going to set the rest of my face with my hourglass. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to take this instead. This is the Too Faced Turn Up The Light Complexion Enhancing Highlighting Palette. I'm just taking the middle powder. The Soft Focus one. I love this. It's so, so good. Okay, looks pretty good to me. Okay, highlighter. I think I'm gonna take a Too Faced one today. I mean, bronzer. Oops. I might go for my Sweetheart's um, bronzer. And this one's in the shade Sweet Tea. It's so nice.
I was gonna take my Fenty cream products today, but I felt like I've been using them too much. So I was like, I'll go for a powder. I have really, really been enjoying the my Fenty creams. But uh, I've got to share the love around my products, okay? I feel like I just ruined my makeup. I don't know why I did that. Anyway. Oh, I'm going to take a little bit of blush today. And I'm going to take the Natasha Denona Blush and Glow palette. And it's just this blush here. It's just such a nice shade. And I just find that no matter how much I put on, it still looks really, really nice. And you guys know that I don't usually love blush too much. But it just, like, it just looks nice, doesn't it? Like, do you think? Like, I don't know. I just really, I enjoy it all good. Like, it just looks healthy. And just pretty. Okay, um, I'm going to quickly do under my eyes and I think I'm just going to take the warm rose shade again and just put that under the eyes. I'll just take the rest of the pigment off and then just kind of blend it out a little bit. Oops, I brought it way too down, way too far. Oh well. Okay. Then I'm just going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara on the bottom lashes. Okay, time for highlight. I'm actually going to take this Jouer one. This is the powder highlight in Citrine. This is such a pretty, pretty shade. I love it. I thought for some reason it was more subtle. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna highlight a little bit of my chin. And then I also just kind of put some on my forehead too. Okay, and then I'm gonna do some inner corner and some brow bone. Um, I guess I'll just take this little Morphe brush. I feel like I need another shower because of how much mess I've made on my arm <laughs> from doing this like, anyway okay so I'm just gonna to put some on my inner corner and on my brow bone. okay I'm gonna go off camera do my hair put a lipstick on and then I'll be back okay so this is the finished look um I just used the Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lip in Christmas cookie and then I'll just set my face using the Morphe Luminous setting spray so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one bye